The massive ancient human pyramid loomed before the terrified alien explorer team, its vast scale and mathematical precision defying rational explanation given the archaic tools of Bronze Age humans, leaving the aliens stunned that such a primitive species could construct these wonders rivaling even their own technical abilities. Korvac winced as his mangled three-digit hand clutched his bleeding flank, blue ichor oozing through the makeshift bandages the human called Jacob had applied. The reptilian alien had been in disbelief when his navigation system malfunctioned and sent his scout ship careening into the forests of this backwater planet, his people had long dismissed as devoid of intelligent life. The ship's panicked distress beacon had transmitted images of the towering human monuments before it went dark, spurring the Galactic Confederation to dispatch a hasty exploration team to uncover how such a technologically crude species could construct these colossal stone structures without advanced tools or mathematics. Cracking an eye open, Korvac saw the human, still clad in his green park ranger uniform, stoking a fire outside the ramshackle wooden shelter he had pulled the injured alien to after freeing him from the wreckage. The human had saved his life, bandaging his wounds and providing water, but Korvac remained wary. How could he trust a member of a violent species whose astronomical and mathematical knowledge centuries ago seemed to surpass their primitive hunter-gatherer technology? As the human named Jacob approached, Korvac hissed out a warning, raising a clawed hand. They had to unravel the mystery of how ancient humans could align their pyramids with pinpoint accuracy to distant stars and encode advanced mathematical ratios in their proportions, knowledge that should be impossible for their Bronze Age tools. If humans still secretly possessed this knowledge, they could pose a dire threat to galactic security. Korvac had to find proof of the secrets of these stone enigmas, built by archaic humans, and the source of their impossible lost knowledge. Or his people might deem it necessary to eliminate the human race entirely, to protect the galaxy. Jacob trickled water onto the alien's cracked lips as Korvac's eyes fluttered open the reptilian pupils contracting in the dim firelight. The park ranger leaned back, giving the creature space as it struggled to sit upright, wincing as it clutched its bandaged side. Easy there. I don't know if your insides are put together the same way as ours, Jacob said softly, holding up his hands in a universal gesture of peace. You've been out for hours. Korvac regarded him warily, his forked tongue flicking out to taste the air. He gestured to his injuries, then to Jacob, a question in his eyes. Jacob pointed to himself, then mimed pulling the alien from the wreckage, applying bandages. Korvac nodded slowly, understanding dawning on his scaly features. He touched a clawed hand to his chest. Korvac, he rasped in a sibilant whisper. Jacob, the human replied, mirroring the gesture. They looked at each other for a long moment the crackling fire the only sound in the night. Then Korvac began to scratch in the dirt with a talon, drawing shapes and figures. Jacob leaned forward, trying to make sense of the alien hieroglyphs. There was a series of interconnected circles, a crude representation of a solar system, then a lopsided triangle, like a child's drawing of a pyramid. Korvac tapped the pyramid insistently, his yellow eyes boring into Jacob's. You're here for the pyramids, Jacob said slowly. The monuments. Korvac nodded vigorously, sketching more shapes in the dirt. Stick figures with elongated limbs standing atop the pyramid, a series of dots and dashes radiating from the structure's apex. Some kind of energy source, Jacob murmured, something inside the pyramids. Korvac drew a final figure, larger than the others, looming over the earth. He looked up at Jacob, his expression grim. Jacob felt a chill run down his spine as the pieces fell into place. If Korvac's people found this energy source, if they unlocked the secrets of the pyramids, it could mean the end of human autonomy, the end of their way of life. He met the alien's gaze, a new resolve hardening in his chest. I'll help you, he said quietly. We'll find out the truth together, but we have to keep this between us. If my people find out... Korvac nodded solemnly. Understanding the unspoken threat, they were in this together now, for better or worse. As dawn broke over the forest, the unlikely pair set out towards the first monument, 
an ancient pyramid hidden deep within the Amazon rainforest. Jacob shouldered a backpack full of supplies, his mind racing with the implications of their discovery. Korvac limped alongside him, his injuries slowing their progress but his determination unwavering. Neither of them could know the dangers that awaited them in the jungle, the secrets that lay buried beneath the ancient stone. But they pressed on, driven by a shared need for answers, unaware of the dark forces that watched from the shadows. Jacob unfolded the crumbling map, its edges frayed and discoloured with age. Korvac peered over his shoulder, his reptilian eyes scanning the intricate lines and symbols etched onto the parchment. The map provided by Korvac's Una's superiors was their only guide through the treacherous Amazon rainforest. As they set out into the dense undergrowth, the humidity pressed down on them like a suffocating blanket. Sweat beaded on Jacob's forehead, his clothes clinging to his skin. Korvac, despite his alien physiology, seemed equally affected by the oppressive heat. The jungle came alive around them, a cacophony of bird calls and insect chirps filling the air. Unseen creatures rustled in the foliage, their presence a constant reminder of the dangers lurking in the shadows. Jacob's hand never strayed far from his knife, his senses on high alert. Days blurred together as they trekked deeper into the wilderness, the map leading them along overgrown trails and across rushing rivers. In the moments of respite, huddled around a flickering campfire, they shared stories of their worlds. Korvac spoke of the Una's technological marvels, of cities that floated among the stars and machines that could manipulate the very fabric of reality. Jacob, in turn, shared tales of human resilience, of the bonds of family and the power of sacrifice. As they pushed further into the jungle, the terrain grew more treacherous. Vines snaked across their path, their thorns tearing at exposed skin, Venomous snakes coiled in the undergrowth, their eyes glinting with malice. Jacob's military training proved invaluable as he navigated the hazards, his instincts guiding them through the most perilous stretches. Finally, after days of grueling travel, they stumbled upon the hidden pyramid. Its stone façade was weathered and overgrown, but the structure still radiated an aura of ancient power. Korvac's eyes widened as he took in the sight, his breath catching in his throat. They approached the entrance cautiously, their footsteps echoing in the eerie stillness. Inside, the air was stale and musty, thick with the weight of centuries. Intricate carvings adorned the walls, depicting scenes of alien visitation and the sharing of knowledge with primitive humans. As they ventured deeper into the pyramid, the passages grew narrower and more labyrinthine. Traps and puzzles barred their way, each more complex than the last. Jacob's problem-solving skills were put to the test as he deciphered ancient mechanisms and navigated hidden pitfalls. Yet even as they overcame each challenge, Jacob couldn't shake the prickling sensation at the back of his neck. It felt as though unseen eyes were watching their every move, tracking their progress through the monument's depths. At last they reached the heart of the pyramid. The chamber was vast and circular, dominated by a pulsating orb, that hung suspended in the center. Its luminescent surface swirled with energy, casting an eerie glow across the room. Before they could approach the orb, a group of masked figures emerged from the shadows. They wore dark robes adorned with strange symbols, their faces obscured behind featureless masks. You have trespassed on sacred ground, one of the figures intoned, his voice deep and resonant. The secrets of the monuments are not meant for outsiders. Korovac stepped forward, his posture tense. I am a scout of the Unas, he declared. We seek only to understand the power that lies within these structures. The masked figure shook his head. The power you seek is beyond your comprehension. It is our duty to protect it from those who would misuse it. Jacob's hand tightened on his knife, his mind racing. Could they trust these mysterious guardians, or were they just another obstacle in their path? The true nature of the monuments and their power remained tantalizingly out of reach, a puzzle begging to be solved. As the masked figures closed in around them, Jacob and Korvac exchanged a glance. They had come too far to turn back now, but the road ahead was fraught with uncertainty. The secrets of the pyramid beckoned 
but at what cost? In the heart of the ancient pyramid, the air crackled with tension as Jacob and Korvac faced the masked figures who had confronted them. The leader of the secret society stepped forward, his dark robes swishing softly against the stone floor. He pulled back his hood, revealing a weathered face etched with the lines of age and wisdom. I am Ezra, he said, his voice deep and resonant. We are the guardians of the progenitor's legacy. Jacob's grip tightened on his knife, his eyes darting between Ezra and the pulsating orb. What do you mean? Who are the progenitors? Ezra gestured to the intricate carvings on the walls, his fingers tracing the alien symbols. The progenitors were an ancient race, far more advanced than any civilization known to us. They created a network of power nodes, hidden within monuments like this one, scattered across the galaxy. Korvac hissed softly, his reptilian eyes widening. The Unas have long sought this knowledge. It could change the course of our history. Ezra shook his head, his expression grave. The power of the nodes is immense, and it must be protected. In the wrong hands, it could reshape reality itself, tearing apart the fabric of the universe. Jacob frowned, his mind racing as he tried to process the implications of Ezra's words. But why keep it hidden? If this technology could help people... It is too dangerous, Ezra interrupted, his tone leaving no room for argument. The progenitors entrusted us with this sacred duty to ensure that their legacy remains untouched by those who would abuse it. Korvac growled, his claws flexing. The Unas have a right to this knowledge. We could use it to benefit both our peoples, to usher in a new era of prosperity. As the tension mounted, Jacob noticed a change in the orb's pulsating light. It grew more intense, the swirling energy within its luminescent surface becoming more erratic. A deep, resonant hum filled the chamber, the sound vibrating through the stone walls. Ezra's eyes widened, his gaze snapping to Korvac. Your technology, he whispered, his voice tight with urgency. It's reacting with the node. The chamber began to shake violently, dust and debris raining down from the ceiling. Jacob stumbled, bracing himself against the wall as the ground beneath his feet shifted and cracked. We must leave now, Ezra shouted, his followers already moving towards the entrance. The node is unstable. If we stay, we'll be buried alive. Jacob looked to Korvac, torn between his loyalty to the alien and his instinct for survival. The Una's scout was transfixed by the orb, his eyes reflecting its eerie glow. Korvac, we have to go, Jacob urged, grabbing the alien's arm. This place is coming down around us. Korvac hesitated, his gaze lingering on the orb. For a moment Jacob thought he would refuse, but then the alien nodded, allowing himself to be pulled away. They raced through the collapsing chambers, dodging falling stone and leaping over widening chasms. The ancient pyramid groaned and shuddered, its secrets threatening to be lost forever as the structure crumbled. Ezra led the way, his followers close behind. Jacob and Korvac brought up the rear, their breath coming in ragged gasps as they pushed themselves to the limit. Just as they reached the entrance, a massive chunk of the ceiling gave way, crashing down mere inches from where they stood. Jacob pulled Korvac back, the alien's claws scrabbling against the stone as they narrowly avoided being crushed. They stumbled out into the harsh sunlight, the jungle air thick with the dust and debris thrown up by the collapsing pyramid. Jacob turned, watching in horror as the ancient structure folded in on itself, the secrets of the progenitors vanishing in a cloud of rubble and smoke. Ezra and his followers had disappeared, melting back into the shadows of the rainforest. Jacob and Korvac were left alone, their hearts pounding as they tried to make sense of what they had witnessed. The power of the nodes, Korvac whispered, his voice hoarse. We were so close. Jacob shook his head, his mind reeling. We can't let this knowledge fall into the wrong hands. If what Ezra said is true, it's too dangerous. Korvac looked at him his reptilian eyes glinting with a newfound determination. Then we must find the other monuments, before someone else does. The fate of both our worlds depends on it. As they set off into the jungle once more, Jacob couldn't shake the feeling that their journey had only just begun. The secrets of the progenitors loomed before them, a tantalizing puzzle waiting to be unraveled. 
But with each step, the weight of their mission grew heavier. They were no longer just explorers, but guardians of a power beyond their comprehension. The road ahead was fraught with danger, and the consequences of failure were too terrifying to contemplate. In the depths of the rainforest, an ancient evil stirred, drawn to the pulsating energy of the nodes. It had waited centuries for this moment, biding its time until the seals that held it at bay could be broken. As Jacob and Korvac pushed deeper into the unknown, they were unaware of the malevolent presence that shadowed their every move, its hunger growing with each passing day. The true test of their resolve was still to come, and the price of failure would be paid in blood. Jacob's heart raced as he and Korvac sprinted through the crumbling passages of the ancient pyramid. Chunks of stone crashed down around them, the ground shaking beneath their feet. The pulsating orb's energy surges lashed out like whips, scorching the walls and filling the air with the acrid scent of ozone. Korvac stumbled, his injured leg giving way. He crashed to the ground, his claws scrabbling against the dust-covered floor. Jacob skidded to a halt, his chest heaving as he turned back to help his fallen comrade. "'Come on, Korvac!' Jacob yelled over the deafening roar of the collapsing structure. "'We have to keep moving.' Korvac looked up at him, his reptilian eyes filled with pain and resignation. Leave me, he hissed, his voice strained. You must escape. The secrets of the progenitors cannot fall into the wrong hands. Jacob hesitated, torn between his loyalty to Korvac and the urgency of their situation. The Unas technology embedded in Korvac's suit pulsed with an eerie light, reacting violently with the destabilized orb. If it fell into the hands of those who would abuse its power... With a gut-wrenching decision, Jacob met Korvac's gaze one last time. I'm sorry, he whispered, his voice barely audible over the chaos. Korvac nodded, his expression one of grim acceptance. Go, he urged, his claws digging into the stone. Remember our mission. Jacob turned and ran, tears stinging his eyes as he left his unlikely friend behind. He leaped over gaping chasms and dodged falling debris, the entrance to the pyramid tantalizingly close. With a final burst of speed, he hurled himself through the opening, just as the ancient structure imploded behind him. The ground shook with the force of the collapse, a plume of dust and rubble billowing into the sky. Jacob lay on his back, his chest heaving as he stared up at the cloudless expanse above. The weight of his actions pressed down upon him, the knowledge that he had left Korvac to die amidst the ruins. As the dust settled, Ezra and his followers emerged from the tree line. They approached Jacob, their expression somber. The collapse of the pyramid has triggered a failsafe, Ezra explained, his voice heavy with the weight of centuries. As we speak, the other monuments around the world are self-destructing, erasing the progenitor's legacy from the face of the earth. Jacob sat up, his mind reeling with the implications. But the knowledge, the technology he whispered, his voice hoarse. Ezra shook his head. It is lost as it was meant to be. The power of the progenitors was never meant for mortal hands. Jacob climbed to his feet, his body aching with the toll of their harrowing escape. He looked back at the ruins of the pyramid, now nothing more than a mound of shattered stone and buried secrets. In the days that followed, Jacob returned to his life as a park ranger, the world around him oblivious to the incredible events that had transpired. He carried the burden of his knowledge like a weight upon his shoulders, the guilt of his decision to leave Korvac behind gnawing at his soul. As he stood atop a mountain ridge, looking out over the vast wilderness, Jacob's thoughts turned to the Unas and their relentless search for the monuments. They would never know how close they had come to unlocking the power of the progenitors, nor the sacrifice that had been made to keep that power from them. The sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in shades of orange and red. Jacob closed his eyes, the memories of his incredible journey playing out behind his eyelids, the sacrifices made, the bonds forged and broken, the secrets that would forever haunt him. Go to... You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us... Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel, and for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.